In this video, I'll be doing a detailed solution to the question you see on the screen here from the 2024 Cambridge A-Level Maths Exams Paper 2.1. If you're looking for a different question from this paper, have a look in the playlist in the description below. Or if you're looking for a different paper entirely, search around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But remember, we're not in a classroom, we're on YouTube, so take advantage of that, use the pause button, even change the speed at which you view it. If you do find this video useful or any of the videos on my channel, I do greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, a share, or even a super thanks. In question one, we're given this trigonometric uh, equation and we're asked to find the x coordinate of the stationary point. So how do we do that? You don't have to draw anything to do this, but I like drawing things when I can. Um, just roughly, now mind. So how would I draw this function? It, it seems a bit difficult to most people, but a sign's easy to draw. Like that's a sign here. This is a minus sign. So that's a, let's see, minus sign. And that's a multiplied by five. Just means it goes down to minus five now and up to five. A tangent then, tangent, hopefully you remember tangent. It goes like this, um, and this, uh, this point here is at 90 degrees, or are we in radians here? We're in radians, so pi over two, which is uh, where they want us to draw to. And uh, so tan looks like, looks like this. So the parts we're interested in is between zero and uh, pi over two, and between zero and pi over two here for the sine. So how would I draw this roughly? Um, tangent goes up really slowly, uh, then really fast. Sine goes down really fast, and then really slowly, and stops going down, in fact. So putting those two together, I would get something like this. Up slow, um, plus down fast is down. And then at one point, this going up would overtake this one. So we'd get something like that and then we dominate now going up the, and this guy would even stop so we end off up at infinity either way so you get some sort of shape like that so in fact there is a stationary point this is the guy we're looking for you don't need any of that but it might help you think about it so how do we find stationary points you need to be thinking differentiation dy dx and uh, more specifically dy dx equals zero you, you get a mark just for writing that without doing any other work just tell them a uh, derivative equals zero. So if we go ahead and differentiate this, um, derivative of the first term, two tan x. Uh, tan x is a bit difficult to differentiate, but we can look it up uh, in our formulas. And the derivative here will just be equal to two times secant uh, squared x. Again, that's just given to us in our formulas. And again, also given to us is uh, the derivative of sine, and that's just cosine. X. Easier one to remember though. Uh, secant squared, uh, or secant, I don't use it at all. Um, so forgive me if I just rewrite it straight away as uh, cosine. Uh, secant is one over cosine. So secant squared is one over cosine squared. Uh, minus five cosine x. Oh, I forgot to put in zero up here. Put in zero up here. The first thing I usually like to do with um, equations is get rid of these determinants, these uh, bottom rows. They're, they're awkward to deal with. Great thing about having a zero here is we can just multiply everyone by cosine squared. And this uh, this becomes, uh, this multiplied by cosine squared is just two. And uh, this multiplied by cosine squared is cosine cubed. And zero multiplied by cosine squared is just zero. That's the handy thing about it. I rearrange this so we get cosine cubed x is equal minus two divided by minus five or two over five. Move the cube over by just getting uh, to the power of uh, 1 over 3 to both sides. Um, so that's equal 2 over 5 to the power of 1 over 3. And finally, just find x uh, by getting the inverse cosine of both sides. So that's the inverse cosine of 2 over 3. Let's put an extra bracket in. Help calculator. Uh, and, and that's it. Uh, that all goes into your calculator and comes out as 0 0.7. Four, two, and uh, they didn't ask for the y part I believe no okay that's it for question one if you have any follow-up questions let me know in the comments below I'll do my best to get back to you thanks for watching have a great day